Okay, I'm about to put my upper control arms on. Got my hardware here and here. I looked at the picture to see where the shims go. Remember from before I had to disconnect the steering shaft to get them to fit. It's on there, I got the shims and the washers and the nuts on, I just need to tighten them down. brake lines on. Here's the rear. It's original. I just have to put a new fitting and it goes back to the rear axle. And then this one goes down to the left front. And this one here goes down to the right front all the way around to the other side. I got these bolt-on coilovers. I'll go up in there just like that. bolt to the bottom controller. Although they take 3 8 bolts, I'm going to have to draw out the bottom of the 3 8 because it's only a 5 6 -inch. I'll take out this coil isolator so we don't need it anymore. Got a 3 8 drill here. Back goes pretty smooth. Got a shaving deck. Okay, now it's drilled out to three eighths. So I've got a piece of red tape here. When it lines up with this, it's got to be straight in the pocket if you Pushing first for your washer and your lock nut. I'm going to put lock nuts on the bottom, that locks. I'm using grade 8 3 8 hardware. Tighten these down. Symbol here, or the old symbol. And the attempt to put so Okay, let's 
see what it is. As you can see, it's very good. Okay. Starting to come off the jack stand, so I think that's enough. And then tighten the bottom up. Put our stainless slings on. So you want one washer on each side of the banjo. Kind of position it before you tighten it. Well, you get it pretty tight, but not like super ultra tight. We're gonna strip that or something. Get that in the hand tight, make sure it's threaded right. You don't want to strip it. Put a new clip in here to hold it up. Sweep our inlay, first foot washer, and we're first pushing for the bottom. And your second bushing, you always want the little nub facing through the hole. And your next washer, and your sleeve. Another bushing. I think my battery died on the last one, but this is the left side going in, and I'm going to zap it in. Got the idler arm changed. Here's the old one, it wasn't too bad, but might as well put a new one on it. Anyway. Put the new tie rods in. I got them adjusted so they're the same length as the stock ones. So we're close enough to drive to get it away. I 
I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please hit that like button. Next, I'll be focusing on getting the engine running.